Hey guys, Tom Ingham here from the Nelson Giants. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over a wee ball handling session that you guys can do to add to your ball mastery session. Right? So the ball mastery was five minutes, this takes eight minutes. All right? So you add these two together, that's a solid ball handling workout. Okay? So I'm going to go over them all very quickly again, and then when you guys get the chance, you'll crack into it yourselves. All right? So we'll start with the nutcracker. All right? So throwing the ball forward, between, sorry, backwards between my legs, and then catching it behind the back, same thing. Throw it forward, catch. So, all right, that's the nutcracker. After that, you've got level pounds. All right, so I'm bouncing the ball three times at each level. The levels are my knees, my waist, and my shoulders. Okay, pounding the ball hard three times at each, then switch to the other hand. So, should look like one, two, three. And the same thing, other side. All right, pound, that's level pound. The uh, front V, so you're just going crossing over with the same hand. Get it quicker and quicker, eyes up. Same thing with the left hand. Then you've got the side V, all right? So the side V, your right foot goes forward. Then the same thing, crossing over back and forth with the same hand. Right foot forward, same thing for the left hand. Left foot forward, then going back and forth. After that, You've got 30 seconds of just freestyle, all right? So you're just looking to add different tricks into your bag, whatever you want to do, okay? 30 seconds worth. After that, you've got a tiny dribble figure eight. So, start with the wide base, okay? Using my fingertips to do really small dribbles. I'm going all the way around. Okay, you can reverse back the other way too. All right, that's my tiny dribble figure eight. After that, I've got a three dribble figure eight. So, same sequence same in terms of moving the same way, but one dribble on the outside, one dribble in between, one dribble the other side, three dribbles. So, one, two, three, two, three. And you start to get quicker and quicker and pound it harder and harder. Same thing here. Okay, three, that's a three dribble figure of eight. After that, you got a forward figure eight, only one dribble, okay? So it's just the dribble between your legs. So, one, the entire time, that's the only dribble, the one between the legs. Okay, after that, same thing, 30 second freestyle. So whatever you wanna do, same thing again. Okay, 30 seconds worth, add to your bag of tricks. After that, you got the crossover, all right, crossover, Forward just in front of you, okay, start to get a rhythm, moving your whole body, and then you'll get quicker and quicker. So just get a rhythm, and you'll start to get faster and faster, whip it harder and harder, to the point where you make mistakes. All right, after that, you wanna to go to a behind the back. Same concept, so get quicker and quicker. All right, sit down and really pound the ball. Okay, it's your behind the back. The last one you've got is a scissor. So it's a between the legs, Take your feet up, your feet up, aren't standing still, okay? Every time you bounce the ball between your legs, it changes. Every single time. So, should go, if you want to get a rhythm, then you just go and put it, all right? So that's your entire ball handling sequence, all right? If you add that with your ball mastery sequence, that's a solid 13 minute workout that's gonna really help you on the court. So challenge your mates, set some new records for yourselves, and I'm sure the Giants boys will be trying to do this too, so see if you can beat them as well.